Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go step by step through setting up and using ActiveTrack. Now feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Now for those unaware, uh, ActiveTrack is part of DJI's default camera view function called FocusTrack, and it's DJI's version of follow me mode. Now, DJI's suite of focus track modes like Active Track allows their line of drones to either automatically or uh, with manual input lock on to and follow a recognized subject such as a person, including a person on a bike, a vehicle, or a boat or watercraft. Now, once the chosen subject has been identified and then locked in, the drone will follow it at a certain distance. Because the Air 3 has the new Omnidirectional Obstacle Avoidance System, it can safely track a subject from any angle around the subject, controlling the drone's position using the newly introduced touch wheel interface. Now this means that by using the touch wheel, you can tell the Air 3 to track your subject from any of the eight points around your subject. So we'll talk about how to use the active track on the Air 3. Now, this first step is optional. If you want to easily target a moving person or vehicle, you have to enable subject scanning first. So with subject scanning enabled, all available on-screen subjects will have a plus over them or next to them, allowing you to quickly tap the plus and then track them. To enable subject scanning, go to the menu and then to the control tab you should see the subject scanning option near the top. Go ahead and enable subject scanning with the slider to the right. Now, going back to using active track. First, hover the Air 3 at a minimum height of about six and a half feet from the ground. Now, at this height, the subject should be in a good position for tracking. Next, Draw a square around the person or vehicle that you want to set as a target. Now, as you select the target, you'll see three focus track options appear on the lower side of the screen. They are Active Track, Spotlight, and POI or Point of Interest. The default mode will always be Spotlight. So here, you want to press Active Track. When the green Go button appears, press the Go button and the Air 3 enters Active Track mode. Now here's something to note. Because Active Track does not automatically start recording, you'll need to remember to hit record once you activate Active Track. Once the subject has been locked in Focus Track and you choose the Active Track option, the touch wheel interface will briefly launch before you press go. Now during this time, you could specify the position of the Air 3 relative to that of your subject. If you miss the window in which the touch wheel interface expands for your input, you can bring up the interface manually. To bring the touch wheel interface up manually, tap the icon centered above the focus track choice options. The icon will either be a person or a vehicle. The interface will now be available for your input. Now we'll touch on the additional tracking modes. As mentioned earlier, in addition to Active Track, Focus Track offers two additional modes that enable you to get creative video, these being Spotlight and POI or Point of Interest. Now, Spotlight allows you to select a subject, whether a person, vehicle, or watercraft, or even an object such as a house or another type of man made or naturally forming structure. The Air 3 will then keep that subject in the middle of the frame while you proceed to fly. This enables you to focus on flying, freeing you up to make changes to the height, distance, and direction of the Air 3. The Air 3 will then handle the yaw, camera, and gimbal tilt. Now the next one is POI, point of interest. When in point of interest mode, after selecting your tracking subject, the Air 3 will circle it, keeping the subject in the center of the frame. Now, POI is an automated orbit that tracks your subject while keeping it in the center of the frame. Once your point is chosen, you can specify the speed and direction of the orbit using the on-screen slider. 
Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.